All right, colors, welcome back. This is part five of episode five, Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and focus on the middle head. Um, this is by Gabriel Hardman. He does a really awesome kind of noir type of style. And to go along with that, I think we'll do a um, more of a painted type of look to go along with it. Uh, let's see. For that, it's more of a... Uh, let's see if I can find my brush that I use. There you go. Um, start a new layer. Uh, it's, let me see. Yeah, it's kind of a painted uh, hard edge brush. Um, opacity 100%. Flow is at 2%. Uh, the hardness is all the way up at 100. The spacing is at 2%. And with this brush, uh, it allows me to, to really fade easily, uh, blend colors really nicely and smoothly as well. Gives it a real nice uh, painted finish. Let's, uh, let me go ahead and uh, do some flats on this real quick. Let's see. For the color scheme, I'm going to keep it kind of kind of moody, maybe a noir uh, feel to it. Uh, Let's see. Maybe yeah, that'll be I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work out. Yeah, we'll try it. Uh we'll say that's skin tone. Right there. Maybe that's hair. I don't I'm not really sure. Uh my gas mask. And then lenses. Oops, messed that one up. And the front piece. All right, there we go. Very simple, very quick. Um, Actually, maybe that's a sideburn right here. Maybe back there too. Oops. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, I'm just label that flats. And do a new layer for colors. Let's see. Nice and moody. I think we'll have our colors or lighting. Sorry, um, I'll turn that head off. The lighting will be coming from this direction. You can see that from this drop shadow here, uh, drop shadow here. This is darker here. So we also want to go uh, uh, with the lighting that the uh, artist is setting up. Let's see, we'll lock that layer. And we'll start with the skin tones. Get back to my brush I had set up. And darker. Again, because we're going to go really moody, I'm going to go ahead and darken and saturate all my colors here. Good. Hmm. Right. Skin tones. Let's kind of work my way up. Add a little bit of saturation as I go. Lighten and saturation. Let's see. 
not really going to see too much on the hair because it's all going to be under the shadow. Probably add a little bit, just really, really subtle. Uh, let's see, gas mask. Let's see, I think this part here is probably going to be raised. Go ahead and color back in the parts that are in shadow. We'll add it back in over here. Oops. Yeah, okay. Uh, that part of his mask, let's see. Back down our opacity here. Again, just a little bit more light, more saturation. And do actually I'll do that at the end. Uh, let's see lenses. I'm just laying in my basic rendering right now. Uh, as always, like with this, uh, especially with this type of style, I like to go in afterwards and do a lot of tweaking on the colors and everything like that. That'll help pull it all together. So right now, we're mainly concentrating on the uh, values more than colors. And I'll show you in a second as to why. This is the brim of the hat, and I'll make that warmer, or, I'm sorry, brighter than, than the rest of this right here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, all right, let's check our, uh, our values on this. So again, we'll set up a hue saturation adjustment layer. Turn down the saturation all the way. We're getting some uh, some nice separation. I think we can get probably a little bit more. We'll just do levels. Uh, ramp the highlights on the uh, on the right hand side. Bring in the shadows on the um, on the left hand side. Let's see how that looks. Oops. Yeah, I like that. It looks pretty good. I think we can do. Uh, let's see back to the skin tone. We'll do a drop shadow coming in from the gas mask. Maybe not that much. We'll go back a couple steps. So one thing that's great about working on the uh, working on the computer is the all the undos that you get. It's be a pain in the ass working. Uh, Doing markers and you mess up, you gotta paste in like another panel or just start all over again. 
There's always a, a lot of pressure. All right, we got that. I like our our colors going, uh, kind of going towards the purples. Get rid of that. Get rid of that adjustment layer. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll go a little bit more warm with it. And then um, let's see. I'm not sure. We'll do a, a secondary light source. Um, I'm just gonna have it on a separate layer for now uh, until we figure out what uh, what color exactly we we like. Uh, right now, I'm kind of thinking uh, a little bit of mystery to it, maybe like a uh, a bluish color, maybe a green, kind of give it an eerie type of feeling. Again, this is just uh, kind of helping with the storytelling. You can kind of tell a lot of things just by looking at, at the uh, at the colors. You know, what type of setting, how you're supposed to feel, the emotion or whatever. And, you know, it's another part of your arsenal that you can use to help uh, tell the story and help move the story along. Let me see, just gonna set this as a clipping mask. Um, kind of gonna go in uh, lightly. I'll just add it here and there. I'm have it come from the bottom here. Get it nice, little bit along the cheekbone. Reflecting off of here, maybe a little bit there. The bottom of the uh, of the hat. Or the underside of the brim, I guess I could say. And then we'll catch uh, catch this edge. And maybe we'll see a little bit on there. I don't think we need it up top there. Again, don't want to do too much because it's the just to match the uh, the style of the art. Um, don't want to just trying to mix it in with the artwork. You know, wanting to do uh, too much and get too crazy with it. Check it out and see. So we can find a different color. I always love to uh, experiment. You may be thinking one thing in your head, but it doesn't all really work out. So you you know you might have something else just by playing around that that looks a lot better. So. Um, Yeah, I think that's a little bit too bright. I think we'll dull it down and leave it at that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Uh, maybe we'll do a edge here. Darken the gas mask a little bit more. Get that mouthpiece too. Oops, wrong layer. So I think the eyes are a little bit too bright. So again, just going in, um, adjusting colors somewhat. What you could do uh, to get uh, you know more of an old feel, drop in a color on top of that, and then we'll fade it back. That'll tie everything together. Oops. Hmm. 
Alright, let's try this kind of overlay. I kind of dig that. It's like an old uh, classic type of feel. I think we'll just leave it leave it like that and call it a day. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, the painted style. Real quick, real easy. Again, uh, matches the uh, matches the artwork. No need for selections. Um, nice and moody. Again, work great for a lot of a uh, vertigo type of stuff, or if it's a noir type of story, works really nice. Um, and that's it. Next time, I guess we'll tackle the uh, the last head, be cell shading on that one. I'm sure there's a lot of people looking forward to that. And um, end of the episode. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, let me know. Again, you can find um, a lot of my color work over at my DeviantArt, lemmage.deviantart.com. And that'll do it. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'd like to say hello and thanks to all the uh, new subscribers I've been getting lately. Uh, much appreciated. Um, let me know if there's anything you would like to see. Uh, that's how I uh, how I do the uh, the episodes. Uh, more feedback I get, the better they'll be, and more catered towards the uh, the audience. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.